Hi, I'm Anya. And I'm Maddie. And we're the Tweaks. Twin. Tween. Geeks. We've done it. Welcome to the final week of the Comic Mix Challenge Challenge. This week we're going to be talking about Mouse by Art Spiegelman. This Pulitzer Prize winning graphic novel is about Art's father and his life growing up as a Polish Jew. The story is broken up into two sections. The first one about Art interviewing his dad about his experiences and the second one of his interpretation of his dad's life. In the book, different people are represented by different animals. The Jews as mice, the Nazis as cats, and the Poles as pigs. The Americans are dogs. Woof, woof. The book was banned because some people said it was anti-ethnic and not suitable for young readers. It was also informally taken off some bookshelves in Russia after their new no-Nazi propaganda law because of the swastika on the cover, even though it is clearly part of an anti-Nazi message. I think a lot of people are uncomfortable with the Holocaust because it was so horrible. Who wants to tell their kids that there are such evil people in this world that they systematically rounded up people because they were Jews, disabled, gypsies, homosexuals, or disagreed with government? The Nazis killed 11 million people. 11 million other human beings. 1.1 million of them being children. No parent wants to tell their kids about the concentration camps and the killing. But a lot of people think, yes, we should tell our kids about it so they know not to do it in the future. We want to make sure kids grow up to understand why it happened so they can see the sign. So it's these parents who want to keep their child away from themes of identity, survival, memory, racism, and the like. No, you, you shouldn't keep your child from learning those morals. Mouse was banned in the Pasadena Public Library system by a Polish-American man who was very proud of his heritage and he said the book made him uncomfortable. That's censorship and that's wrong. Opening up dialogue about how the guy felt and letting other people see his point of view, that would make more sense. But just simply taking it off the shelves, what does that really do? Much like our last book, Persopolis, this book allows you to see history, not from a textbook perspective, but from an individual's point of view, who lived through this time period with their own story. That's why Anne Frank was so good. That's why it became such a great thing, because she wasn't even an adult writing a diary. She was a kid. There's still genocide happening in the world. There's still oppression and mass persecution. I mean, we can take what we learn from books like Mouse and we can apply them to current news and it will help us learn a lot more. Genocide is awful and I think it's really important to let people know that it happened so they always remember and we can stop it when we see it. So my favorite character was Art's mom, Anna, and she just seemed really sweet and kind and a very smart and a good person and I feel like I would have been her friend if I had known her. My favorite part was when Art's dad took Art and his wife to the grocery store and he tried to return like used cereal boxes and like used food stuff to get money back. My favorite part of the book was in the first part when Art was interviewing his dad about his love life. I thought it was really cute. He was super nice and he kind of reminded me of Bucky from Captain America because he was like a ladies man. But he was like just like really sweet and genuine at the same time. So that's all for now. Follow us on Instagram, Twitter, Tumblr, Periscope, and like us on Facebook. Subscribe to us on YouTube. And check back every Thursday on comicmix.com for new videos. Thanks for watching.